Hello and welcome to another Rapid Response 5 Minute Features brought to you by STM Connections. My name is Abbas Emre. This video is an introduction to the concepts of scenario in Rapid Response. Data is stored in Rapid Response database as scenarios. Scenarios are complete alternate version of enterprise data which can be used to simulate situations and events such as material shortage, late purchase order or demand increase, experimenting with possible solutions or what-if analysis. You can also refine the plan and delete what is not working. And eventually, scenarios can keep a snapshot of data. Scenarios are organized in a tree structure with a root or enterprise scenario at the top. They can be public or private, and based on user's role and permissions might be editable or view only. Also, scenarios exist in a parent-child relationship. Let's take a closer look in a rapid response Java instance. You can find scenarios in the scenario pane on the left-hand side. The parent-child relationship is clearly illustrated here. On the toolbar, you can create a new scenario you can see a scenario properties, the feature which will come back on that in this video. You can share it with another user. You can update a scenario if it's out of sync. And you can commit a scenario, which is simply put bringing the changes from a child scenario to the parents. Or even you can delete a scenario. Assume you've been notified that purchase orders in July will be delayed for a month. To edit the PO's due date and analyzing the consequences, the starting point is always to create a new scenario reflecting the changes. Let's do it. As I mentioned earlier, you can create a new scenario from Scenario Pane, from File New, or from the Toolbar. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a name. Play PO's. And uh, I need to make sure that I'm creating this scenario based on the correct parent scenario. By hitting OK from the toolbar, I can select the scenario which I created and I can make my changes, which are the PO's due date. By saving the changes, the entire scenarios and the entire enterprise data will be updated. How to deal with this common problem in supply chain is a subject for another video. What I'd like to mention here is how incredibly fast the new scenario was created. Remember, the new scenario is an alternate version of the enterprise data and can be gigantic. Let's see how it's possible. The new scenario only keep the new records which are created or edited. The rest of the records are not being kept in the new scenario. They will be referenced to the parent scenario. By committing a scenario, all the changes made in the child scenario will be moved to the parents. That's why other child scenarios end up being out of sync and need to be updated or delete it if they are no longer needed. Going back to the scenario properties, you can find the pending updates, pending comments, and pending update conflicting changes, if any. In data changes or pending commits, you can see the PO due dates, which I've changed in few seconds ago. The last feature in rapid response scenario I'd like to discuss is perspectives. Perspectives are a predefined configuration of rules and how rapid response does the calculation. You might be interested to know what would be the result if a specific constraint does not apply to the plan, like food or medicine with no expired date. The new calculation overlay the original data. It's useful to save time and reduce error for repetitive situations. 
While committing a scenario, the perspective generated data won't be committed. That brings us to the end of this video. Please reach out to scmconnections.com or our social media for any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.